Alright, we are recording auto loading stuff today. The camera in a good spot. This is me loading and pretty much for the first time I've already done maybe 15 shells. Figuring out what tools I need on the fly, one of which is a tiny flashlight to verify where the primers are, especially when you forget to add the new primer strip once you start really jamming on it. So that looks good. Make sure the spring tensions are against those shells by pushing on the springs really tight. It's not enough just to lever them in. Alright, that looks good. So we just completed what I call one cycle. That means we just seeded a bullet, basically. So the next step in the cycle is to rotate the plate. Finish bullet drops in there. Insert brass. Verify powder charge. Place the bullet. Make sure it's straight. I already peeled one. See this? Not that one. This one actually got peeled the copper off because I didn't have the flare die set just right. So anyways, there's a live primer in here still now, so I'll, uh, I'll just do this one uh, in single stage later after tossing that bullet. Okay, we inserted shell, placed bullet, now we cycle the handle. When I say high cycle, it means all the way up. You hear the primer drop. And then we go all the way down and give it a firm push till it, till it stops. Now going forward is super important because that's inserting the actual primer, primer on the down strip. We'll come back up to the rest position. Don't cycle the slide because otherwise the primer thing will advance and you'll be wasting primers through the mechanism. And like we said before, we're back full circle. Rotate the slide. Insert shell. Set bullet. Verify powder charge first. Set bullet. Cycle the handle. Cycle the plate. Do it slowly, otherwise powder's gonna slosh out. This one's kind of bulged. I'm just gonna leave that out. Doesn't have a Glock, yeah, maybe it does have a Glock marking on it, but this one's a little bold, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it out of the mix for right now. Just because I want to do this perfectly the first time. Alright, we just cycled the plate. The trick is remembering where the hell you are in, in your cycle, but uh, you should be able to identify it just by taking your time and looking at the shells. So at this point, I need to insert a new shell, verify powder charge, insert bullet. Squarely. Cycle the handle. All the way forward. Rotate plate. Insert shell. Verify powder charge. Insert bullet. Crank the handle. Rotate plate. Insert shell, place, verify powder charge, place bullet, crank the handle, I didn't hear the primer drop that time so I jiggled it a little bit, coming all the way forward, setting the primer, rest position, cycle the rotate the plate. At this point I kind of want to verify a few things. Um, First of all, I just rotate it out of the primer station and I want to make sure that primer is flush if not recessed with the shell plate. And there's no powder in this, so you got to be careful. <laughs> so that's pretty much flush. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in its little station, which happens to be the powder station because I just rotated it. Push the spring in. Um, I'm also going to take one of the shells that just got a powder dump without spilling any of it. And I'm going to pour it in a measuring tray. And give it a tap too because those little grains stick. 
I'm going to put that in a scale, which you probably can't see. And let you see the scale. I set it for 7 or 8.4 grains, since this is kind of a small bullet. It should give me 1,000 feet per second. And as you can see, it's dead balls accurate, which is the industry standard term uh, for right on. Put this back. And remember, I got the powder in the tray here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it all back in the bullet. This little tray is slicker than hot snot, so the powders really like to spill around. Tray back, charges in this bullet, bring it back in its station, which is an empty station because I don't have any uh, dye here. I guess you could put a uh, load checker there. All right, now look at the station. Remember where you're at. Basically, I have an empty shell here, so I need to start from the beginning, which is insert shell. Verify those springs are tight. Set bullet. Oh, wait, verify powder charge. Verified. Set bullet. Cycle the handle. All the way forward, nice and slow so you don't spill any powder. And that's it. Every time you crank it, a bullet falls out into the finished cartridge tray which is right here finished this is cleaned yet with spent prime and of course these are 155 grain bullets um, every now and then probably not every now and then go ahead get the calipers out make sure they're good calipers zero them Examine one of your cartridges. Completed cartridges for total length. Now 1.135 is the maximum length of this cartridge, and we are at 1.172, so we're uh, you know a couple a hundredths um, short of the maximum length. And you don't want it too short either because you want to make sure that the bullet is close to the rifling in your barrel but not touching it. So that's a perfect 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge. The other thing is uh, the diameter here. I usually do this part on millimeters. Make sure we're at zero. The diameter in the middle of the case is 10.64 but as you come up to where the bullet went in you know it's 10.72 now that's the flare so I got eight hundredths of a millimeter in the flare anything less than that and we peel a bullet like you saw before I had three hundredths before so eight hundredths seems to be a good deal um, with this kind of ammo we really don't want to flare it too much to screw the ejection mechanism and you're just going to wear out in the brass and it'll split eventually if you over flare it but I haven't peeled the bullet since I made that adjustment to eight hundredths of one millimeter of flare right on the rim Put that in the completed cartridge case. Um, I'm just going to leave the die right like that. Keep feeding these primers in. I almost forgot last time, you know, as this starts to cycle in, you jam a new primer in there, primer strip. Anyways, that's the deal. Later.